Starting your stack on a $100 a month budget, you better have patience. Tactical Timmy here. I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk to my new stackers about how to actually start your stack on the $100 a month budget. I know this is a pretty reasonable budget that a lot of stackers start off with, and there's some considerations that you have to make when you're starting your stack on the small budget because we can't afford on that budget to just go out and buy the newest koala or the newest coop or even the newest panda. We have to make sure that we're saving up and trying to find out what is really, really important to us. There's several reasons for this. Number one, we have to make sure that we're avoiding sales tax. Sales tax is something that's going to differ state to state, but it's something that we have to make sure that we're avoiding it. A lot of states have a minimum purchase that we have to make before we'll avoid sales taxes. Other states, I know Florida is one example, whereas if you're buying sovereign American products like American eagles, you would avoid sales tax. So that's the number one thing that we have to avoid. The next thing is, is we have to make sure that we are avoiding any shipping costs. The shipping costs on a single coin will single-handedly destroy any gains that you might see from your precious metals portfolio. So shipping costs are gonna vary retailer to retailer, and I know that most retailers tend to have free shipping over a certain amount. Whether that's $100, $200, I think that's the more common amount is $200. But you have to make sure that whatever your given retailer or preferred bullion dealer is, you make sure that you're waiting to save up for the free shipping. That's something that's super, super important. And unfortunately, a lot of places, the $100 just is not going to allow you to make regular purchases or at least monthly purchases on that $100 a month budget. The final thing that I would throw out there as a reason for how to stack on a hundred dollar a month budget is to make sure that you're waiting up and waiting for the deals because a lot of times it will behoove you not to buy a single coin but you're going to want to buy a tube of coins that's one of the first things that i always recommend stackers do is get a tube of eagles and that can be kind of like the cornerstone of your stack but you want to get the discount on eagles if you go out and buy a single eagle or even 19 eagles you will not get as good a price as if you buy the full tube of 20. Wait, save up until you can afford the full tube of 20 because that can save you a considerable amount. That is something when you combine all three of these things, saving on sales tax, making sure you're waiting for that, as well as avoiding any shipping costs, and finally waiting and buying a full tube, that alone can save you a tremendous, tremendous amount of money. The other thing I would say when you're a new stacker is that I recommend you do focus on those gold and silver eagles. You're not going to be focusing on building collections quite as much, although as you can see, I really do enjoy building my collection a lot. That's one of those things that can be can wait for later in your stack. You don't need to necessarily go out and start your collections right away. I recommend you get a cornerstone of your stack, maybe 60 to 100 American Eagles is a great place to start. And I also would recommend you think about diversifying into gold sooner. That was one of the things that I really missed out on when I was starting stacking is simply being able to start my gold stack because that's something that I wish I had done a lot, a lot sooner because I thought that I was just a silver stacker and that gold was something unattainable that only rich people could buy. When in reality, it's something that is accessible, especially when you see these fractional pieces in front of you. It's something that really is accessible to a lot of us. Let's go through a typical example of what I might see using this strategy of stacking on a $100 a month budget might look like. Let's say you're from Maryland. Maryland has some interesting laws where they do have sales tax for anything, any purchases $1,000 or more when it comes to bullion coins. So if you live in Maryland, that means you're gonna be paying a sales tax on anything, any purchase that is below $1,000. So that means that it's gonna take you 10 whole months before you can actually make a purchase sales tax free. That's gonna mean you might have to save up for almost a year before making a purchase. You're not gonna be able to go out and buy all these things that you wanna just purchase right away 
without paying that sales tax. So what I would recommend if you live in a state like that, or depending on your state, is find out what are the laws of your local state and waiting to make your purchases until you can actually avoid your sales tax. Typically, if it's like a state like my example of Maryland, you're gonna also be avoiding the shipping costs from any online bullion retailers. You'll also likely have enough cash to buy a full tube and that will give you some discounts as well. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to afford on the $100 a month budget, we're not gonna be able to afford a tube of gold, but I do recommend people start their gold stack sooner than I did because that's something that is really accessible with these fractional pieces in order to get going in gold and get that diversification sooner rather than later. I also think that if you get excited about some of these coins like i know i really got excited about the koalas and pandas and kookaburras and honestly everything from the perth mint i got really really excited about those things when i started off stacking and i saved even though i was on a small small budget i saved up and i was able to start that collection early on but i had to make sure that it was a sustainable collection you don't want to have these higher premium coins kind of take over your stack. You want to focus on the investment side and make sure that you've got a strong foundation in gold and silver eagles before you start focusing on the Perth Mint or any other premium coin series. Because a lot of times, unfortunately, we're not going to get the premiums back on a lot of these coins. I think that I probably, as a stacker, could have stayed more focused when I was starting off my stacking journey. And I wish that I had focused more on eagles and more on starting my gold stack earlier on. That's all I had for you guys today. I hope you found value and you liked this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below as well as a comment for any other future videos you'd love to see me have. Take care.